Whether your organization is growing quickly or you're managing roles with lots of turnover, you know how complicated it can be to manage all of the different onboarding tasks for new employees. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can easily spin up an employee onboarding application with Softer to make this process a lot easier. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. One of the really nice things about Softer is that you can spin up unlimited applications regardless of the plan that you're on. So even if you're on the free plan here, that comes with unlimited applications. Now, if you haven't used Softer before, you can get started using the affiliate link in the description below. I'm logged into Softer. Let's go ahead and click on new application. We'll search for employee. And here you'll notice that we actually have a number of different templates. We've got employee directory, training management. In this case, we're gonna take a look at employee onboarding. And you'll notice there's a couple different icons, one for Airtable or Google Sheets. This is where our data is going to be stored in the back end. So we're using Softer to build the front end experience. In this video, we're gonna talk about building this with Airtable, but you could certainly use Google Sheets as well. We'll click on that. We'll go ahead and preview and use this template. And then we'll need to connect this to our data source. So I'm gonna connect mine to Airtable. And let's go ahead and copy that base. Inside of Airtable, you can see we have a few different tables to store this information. One is our team members. These are going to be the individuals who are logging into the application itself. Notice that we have some people who are on the management side, like an HR manager, and we've got our CEO. And then we also have new hires here who are going through the onboarding process itself. To manage all of those onboarding tasks, we have a tasks table, when this needs to be accomplished, what different things are going to be done. We have some task templates, so this can be used to duplicate for our different employees. And we also have onboarding resources, different documents we want to make available for our employees. Back in Softer, let's go ahead and click to go to our application. And now we're inside of Softer Studio. This is the area where we can build and configure our application. We can make tweaks to the template that we've just spun up. One of the first things I like to check out is our users. If we click on this, this is automatically synchronizing those team members back from the list of team members that we have in Airtable. So as we add new team members, either inside of Softer or an Airtable, or we integrate it with Zapier or Make, we can create those users and they'll be synced between both parts of the application. Application. Now, software is known for really handling permissions well within these internal applications. We'll go ahead and click on user groups here and notice that this already has two user groups, one for HR team members, the people who are responsible for onboarding these individuals, as well as the new joiners. Now we could add additional user groups if we want, but let's go ahead and open up this HR one. And we can see that we have two options. We can either add users manually, or we could add them based on conditions. And this is what the template's done out of the box. So if we look at this, we can see that if the team is HR, so we know that they're on the HR team, but we can actually have multiple conditions because it's saying, and their onboarding is completed. Because as you can imagine, there's people joining the HR organization, they haven't been onboarded yet, therefore we don't want them to have that level of access. So this is gonna be for the management layer in the organization from HR, who's going to manage those onboarding tasks. We also have this new joiner group, and so we can open this up, and again, we've got conditions here. If the team is not HR, or if they haven't completed that onboarding, then that's gonna be everybody else who's accessing this application. Let's go back to our homepage so we can check this out. We've got a nice ability to preview this. We can open this up and take a look at our application through the lens of different users of our system. So you can see we're actually logged out right now. And this makes sense because we don't want just anybody in the world to be able to access this onboarding application if they're not part of our company. But what we can do is impersonate different users. So I'm currently a non-logged in user, but we have Jean Gray, who is a new employee at our company. So we can authenticate as her, impersonate her. And now we can see here are her tasks. So we have a list of onboarding tasks. These are filtered down to the individual person layer, the tasks that they need to complete. We can filter this different ways. If we only wanna see what needs to be accomplished in week one, we can add those filters. We've got our team members here. So if we wanna to get to know the different people in our organization, we can see profiles. We can also click to view more information about those team members, the team member details here. And then we have those resources as well. So we can look at the different documents that we have in the company, give it one consolidated spot. Now I do wanna show you back in Softer Studio how easy it is to be able to configure this application because we'd be good to go out of the box or we could say, you know what, this is a Kanban right now. I want to add my own block. And instead of a Kanban, you could do a table of tasks or different lists of tasks. We have all sorts of different elements, both static, so this could be more of a landing page for our application, 
or we could have these dynamic elements, which again is going to connect to the data that we have back inside of Airtable. One of the nice things here is with these different tasks that we have, we can have that conditional filtering. So we'll say that only when the email assigned to matches the email address of the logged in user, those are the tasks that they will be able to see. Well, what if we wanna take this a step further and we wanna make it easy for our HR team to be able to add new tasks. Let's go ahead and click on the tab for actions and we're gonna add a top bar button and this is going to be to add a new task. So we'll choose the add record option. You'll see that now adds this button here. Record isn't very specific, so we're gonna change this to add task. And then we've got our different fields that we can map. So instead of name, even though this maps to the name field, let's give it a task name for an easier label. This is when this is going to be due. So I'm gonna sync this with our Airtable options. Let's go ahead and sync that. So now we can see we'll have a drop down list where we can see the available options that we have. I'm gonna label that due date. And then let's add a field for our user as well. So I'm gonna choose a drop down here. And in the drop down, we're going to map this to the assigned to inside of Airtable. Now we can see our users that we have. And for the label, we'll type in assignee. So now when we're logged into the application, we can click that button to add a task. We'll fill out our fields here for task name, due date, and assignee, and let's add that task. And now you'll notice that we have that task listed inside of our onboarding application here in Softer. And if we click back over into Airtable, we can see that that task has been added because this is where the data is being stored inside of Airtable. But we have one small problem here, and that's that anyone in our application now has the ability to add the task. What if we only want that HR team to be able to create new tasks? So we can click on our actions here and open up our task. You'll see this button for button visibility. If we open that up right now, all users can see this. We wanna change this to only logged in users. And then we can get more granular here. Instead of saying all logged in users, Let's make sure that this is only available. Remember those user groups we talked about at the beginning, we only want it to be available to those HR team members. So now if I'm impersonating Scott as a user, we'll see that he has the option to add tasks because he's part of the HR team. But if we go to another user like Jean, who's onboarding for the first time, she doesn't have that option. And that's how easy it can be to configure the software application to your liking. So I wanna show you a new feature that makes it even easier to be able to handle permissions globally across our entire application. In the area where we were adding users and user groups, there's a new option available for global data restrictions. Let's add a new one. So here we can set permissions specifically for our tasks table. So this is where we could add certain restrictions around who can view, create, edit, and delete. We can add different conditional logic to this and we can apply it to those different groups that we have. So we don't even have to do this down at the block level. We can now do it across our entire application. There's so many more things that we can do with software, including adding our own pages and blocks, configuring a custom subdomain. So now's the time to get started with software by using the link in the description below.